Park Science Department. My name is Mr Drennan and I'm the Head of Science. Here at Hill Park we have a large science department and we have 10 science labs that look something like this. Throughout your time in S1 you'll have loads of opportunities to participate in practical experiments in order to help you with your learning of biology, chemistry and physics. Uh, we're all very much looking forward to meeting you soon. Hello soon to be S1s, my name is Miss Boyle. I am a biology and science teacher at Hill Park Secondary School. Some of my favourite topics in science include learning about how the human body works, animal adaptations and biodiversity, and exploring our solar system. So as well as the fun topics and experiments that you will carry out after the summer when you join us, we also have two clubs that I quickly wanted to tell you about today. We have our STEM club where you can carry out some cool experiments which you couldn't perhaps do during class time. And we also have our eco club where you can come and talk about local issues to do with climate change, thinking about how we can make a difference and putting an action plan in place to make our world a better place. One of my favourite experiments to do in science is the red cabbage indicator experiment. What the red cabbage does is it changes colour depending on whether something is an acid or an alkali. So what I thought I would do is I would show you that just now. We've got our red cabbage water here, which you can see is a really deep purple colour. And we're going to add it to some household items. So first one we've got is vinegar. Then we've got some lemonade. Then we've got some water some baking powder, some washing up liquids, and finally we've got some bleach. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you after the summer. Please take care for now and I will see you all soon. Bye. Hi, my name is Mr Rimmery and I'm a member of Hill Park Secondary School Science Department. Some experiments are better done out of doors. Hi, my name is Mr Grimson. I teach science and physics in the upper school and I've got a Cartesian diver here, which is a, an experiment to do with density that your teacher might show you when you get into first year. Hello Primary 7. My name is Miss Christie from Merrick House and I teach in the Chemistry and Science Department. I'm going to show you a home experiment, Mentos and Diet Coke. You will be learning about chemical reactions in science. Hi, how are you? My name is Dr. Niemi. I'm one of the science teachers in Hill Park. I'll be looking forward to meeting you in August, beginning of the year, hopefully. Um, science, as you know, it's about biology, chemistry and physics. Most of you know that. That's why I learned from experience talking to S1 when they arrive at the beginning of the year. So, we will have lots of fun, we'll have lots of magic in science, we'll have lots of experiments, I'm sure you'll enjoy science and I'm sure you'll look forward to seeing us as well. Right, I've got, I've got a barbecue today actually here, so I've decided and instead of doing all these adding A to B chemicals or whatever, you know, materials, tools, I, I decided to do a simple one. I used to do this actually for my kids, um, which is taking a balloon. I call it, instead of, especially on a day like this when you have a barbecue, instead of having a shish kebab, I'm going to have a shish balloon. Take a balloon, you can do this actually yourself at home. I would advise you to put a safety glasses on your eyes, just in case. Take a balloon. Blow up. I think that's fine. Now. What you, what you could do after that is actually take your skewer, I've got a skewer in here for my tikka and kebab, and I'm going to try to 
actually put the skewer in the balloon. You think it's possible? Most of people say no, so of course it's not because you're gonna bust it. Let's try. I'm gonna try my way. Oops. Sorry. Try again. Oopa. Managed. One side. Let's get the other side. Please don't bust. Here we go. Sheesh kebab. Sheesh balloon. That's for my experiment for today. This is my experiment for today. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you soon, guys. Okay, welcome again to Hell Park. Bye-bye now. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jones and I'm from the biology department. Here I have a few experiments. I've been busy looking at some crystals with my microscope and I've got a couple of things I want to show you. Looking forward to doing some of these things with you in the future. Um, so let's take some of this and um, see if we can add with one of these fancy droppers. Add it in to this liquid which is called hydrogen peroxide, which is liquid that will bleach hair. And I guess what I can do is I'm going to add a little bit of this yeast. And I will now, I don't expect something to happen straight away. What I might need to do is I might need to give it a little mix. So let's see what happens when I mix it up. Right, well hopefully it stops there. Okay, stop, stop. think I might have put too much in. Stop. Stop. Hello, Prenny Sevens. Welcome to Hell Park Secondary School. I'm Miss Arthur and I'm one of the chemistry and science teachers here. In science, you learn to do chemistry, biology and physics. And through that, you do lots of fun experiments. I'm going to show you now what experiments you could do possibly at home. You have vinegar, washed out liquid, food colourant and some bicarb soda. Are you going to make your own wee miniature volcano? Let's see what happens. Volcano. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Thanks. Bye. Hey P7, I'm Mr. Wright. I'm one of the chemistry teachers here at Hill Park and one of the coolest things about my subject is chemical reactions like this one. Hi Primary 7, I'm Miss Lawson and I'm a biology teacher at Hill Park Secondary School. We are very much looking forward to meeting you and hopefully after watching our video you're looking forward to meeting us too. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own invisible ink. All you need is some white plain paper, some cotton buds and water and baking soda. So I've mixed water and baking soda in this little jar here. Using your cotton bud, you dip it into your baking soda and water mixture and you write whatever message you would like to on your paper. Once your message is dry, it should be invisible and we are going to heat it up using a hairdryer to reveal what it says. Put your hairdryer on the hot setting, but be careful not to put the hairdryer too close to the paper. You should then be able to read what your message says. See you soon, Primary 7.